Well, this is the scene at uh, High Bradfield on Wednesday, the 4th of September. Um, it's about half past seven in the evening, and the sun is uh, almost down behind the horizon now. And uh, we're just waiting for uh, Richard G0 RPH portable to uh, come up on the uh, two meter talkback. Uh, here is the rig, all set up, ready, looking in uh, Richard's direction. Um, Richard this evening is at Manton on the Lincolnshire Wolds and uh, the rig is set up looking in his direction. Visibility isn't very good this evening. Um, it's probably no more than 20 kilometres or so uh, looking towards Richard, um, whereas if we look towards the northeast, it's it's quite a bit clearer and uh, you can actually see um, the hills around Pocklington. We just zoom in a bit to the rig. Um, on the left hand side, the at the back of the rig, the, the box on the left is the uh, receiver and the box on the right is the uh, modulator for the flat light, the high power LED. On top of the um, receiver, it's, uh, on top of the transceiver itself um, we have a keyer on the left hand side then there's the battery. Next to that if we just come right in uh, there's a telescopic sight uh, which is fitted with crosshairs and then we can see on the other side uh, the microphone and uh, a pair of headphones. If we now pan over to the back of the car um, what we have at the moment on the left hand side is the computer not ready set up yet just just placed there but not ready to go yet and on the other side uh, we have the talk back which is based on a um, FT290 and a 25 watt um, linear amplifier. Coming now to the front side of the rig um, I've turned on the flat light just so you can see um, that one of the two Fresnel lenses which are shown there is used for transmit and that's the left one in this picture here and the right one is used for receive. Uh, the flat light at the moment is being keyed uh, with my call sign in CW and you can see the uh, brightness of the um, red light output from the uh, flat light is, is varying with the uh, Morse. Well it's now about uh, 8 o'clock uh, clock time and uh, the sun has definitely gone down now behind the horizon and there's really just a little bit of uh, redness um, on the horizon now as I look um, to the uh, northwest. Uh, uh, I have made contact with Richard now on two meters and he's uh, setting up his equipment at the moment. Um, we're still a bit uh, dubious though about the uh, visibility um, across the path. Um, So this is Richard's signal coming over a 66k path at the moment. It's not very dark yet, so his signal isn't very loud, um, but you, you, you can certainly hear his CW. Yep, okay. Right, so I'm now going to put some speech. Um, we'll just turn the two meters down a bit, it's a bit noisy. Um, I'm now going to put some speech onto the uh, onto the light waves. Just trying to get the zoom sorted out here. It's uh, right, so hopefully we should now be on speech and uh, I'll pick the microphone up and uh, away we go. So, uh, G0 RPH portable, I'll just turn the key off, uh, G0 RPH portable, G0 RPH portable, 
G0 RPH portable from G8 AGN portable high Bradfield near Sheffield um, on the video at the moment you can see the beam uh, from the flat light going out into the distance in, in uh, Richard's direction it's dark enough now to see that and also you see the occasional insect fly through the uh, the beam and um, you just get a, a little flash of light as the insect flies through uh, G0 RPH portable from G8 AGN portable High Bradfield near Sheffield Yes, OK, well that could be. I don't know why the two metres is, is down this evening, Richard. Um, I've got some really quite good video, I hope, um, assuming this is going to work. Um, and and uh, hopefully if it's come out, I'll be able to bring it over next week and show you. Um, so it would be nice if I could take a bit of speech from you now, and um, then I'll try and, uh, I'll try and put that on the camera as well, from G8 AGN Portable. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I'll turn my light off now and um, look for you on the uh, on the nanowave receiver. Yes, that's fine, Richard. Keep talking. I'm, I've got the video on at the moment. Keep talking. Hopefully, you're getting a good, clear. Uh, red light signal from me and uh, as the light goes down in your direction certainly we're able to see you probably at times as best as we've ever seen from that direction which is uh, a little bit of a surprise to me because uh, certainly earlier on it was very murky indeed in that direction. Uh, as I look round again uh, pretty much like last week it looks a lot clearer in Leeds direction and somewhat worse than your direction uh, as I sort of view down towards Tavisol and uh, uh, in uh, uh, the sort of southwesterly direction. So, uh, sun hasn't quite gone down, there's still a bit of a dry over your way, uh, but hopefully the cloud cover is uh, making things uh, not too cold for you tonight. It's uh, getting a little bit cooler here, but it's certainly not cold by any means yet. A little bit windy here, um, not as calm as it has been, but uh, it, it's certainly not a disturbing wind there. It's, uh, it's uh, just turned the modulation down a little bit, and perhaps over modulating rather seriously there for the moment. I um, wonder how you're copying all that. Uh, G8 AGN portable, Q0 RPH portable. Well, we're now going to try some uh, slow scan TV and uh, so Richard is currently setting up his computer and uh, I've got mine set up and uh, Can you give us uh, a quick burst of gear or code um, or something that I can uh, tune in to please? I'm now sending Richard uh, a second picture um, he managed to receive the first one so now I'm sending uh, the a second Time is now uh, just after nine o'clock uh, clock time, and uh, Richard is trying to um, sort out a problem with the um, sound card on his um, computer. Um, he's not getting any um, SSTV modulation coming out of it for some reason, so he switched his keyer on for the moment. So I've got something to listen to on his uh, on his light. Understood. It appears to be the. Uh... Uh, picture with the 
the red light in the background, but I lost the top of it. Uh, Richard is uh, now receiving this picture. Um, got a problem here with uh, needing six hands to do things. So uh, I'll just uh, show you what I'm actually transmitting to Richard now. Uh, Richard's been able to sort out the um, problem with the sound card on the laptop, so he can't transmit to me. So. Uh, I'm just sending him one last picture um, just to wrap up the evening's proceedings uh, as it's now coming up probably to about half past nine. So uh, this, this will be the last picture of the evening.